Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Okay everyone, my name is Nablis Afata And now, I would like to analyze the short story by the title Char A Charming Woman by Jerome K. Jerome So before we start the analysis, I would like to tell you the synopsis first in the Middle Ages, or precisely in the 18th century in England, there was a woman named Mrs. Clifton Courtney who was very charming and urgent like a noble woman in general. Then, she became acquainted with a young writer named Mr. Anybody who is the narrator of the story. Although she is a socialite in her daily life, but he feels unhappy about it and wants to get out of her life as a socialite. Okay, so let's start the analysis. First is plot. I put the plot diagram to make the analysis easier. As you see on the slide, plot has five steps. First step is exposition. Exposition is the beginning of the story. The beginning of the story is when a friend introduces Mrs. Clifton to Mr. Anybody. They began to get along with chatting, and in the end, Mrs. Clifton was impressed with Mr. Anybody. The second is raising action. When Mr. Anybody wants to praise Mrs. Clifton because of her beauty, she refused because, in fact, she was older than Mr. Anybody. So the third is conflict. When Mrs. Clifton complained to Mr. Anybody about her life that is hollow and artificial, and she could not express herself. Actually, the conflict is about Mrs. Clifton with herself. She wants to get out of her life as a socialite, but she didn't. So, she decided to complain to Mr. Anybody. And then the four, number four is climax. Mrs. Clifton express her thoughts about social politics and also about the freedom of a woman when she discussed the case of the murder of a wife with Mr. Smith. And then the last or number four is resolution. The resolution of the story comes from the opinions expressed by the experts about the thought of Mrs. Clifton on the political and social in that era, which is presented by the order in the text. It is proven by the statement of Mr. Jocelyn that Mrs. Clifton, as a noble woman of that era who had modern thoughts, she can become president of the old woman of the Bermondsey branch of the Primrose League. So, the second analysis is point of view. The author uses first person point of view. It can be seen from using word I as a way of the author to tell the story. Well, the most of the pronoun in the way the author tells the reader is story. The story, the pronoun is I. And the third is character. So it consists of two points, mayor and minor. The mayor is of course Mrs. Clifton Courtney, the charming woman. She was so charming 
clever, and had low soft thoughts. She also had a deep thoughts about social and politics. And then the minor characters in this story, I have seven person, including the narrator or Mr. Anybody. First is I or Mr. Anybody. <clears throat> he was Shepherdson. This can be proven from his awkwardness when sitting next to Mrs. Tifton. Second is Mr. Smith. He was 18 years old and he was not a confident person. It can be proven by his frightened when Mrs. Clifton will misunderstand about him. And then the next is low church person, young Abby, Sir Harry Bennett, and Mr. Jocelyn. All of them were wise person. It can be proven by their speech about the weaknesses and strengths of a woman. And about Colonel Maxim, he was a shallow minded man. Okay, the next is setting. The settings of the story consists of two things place and time. This story occurs in Britain or UK in 18th century. It is proven by the author's background and the social setting that occur. Okay, the next is symbol. In symbol, I found four words. The first is bloodless chin. It means that Mrs. Clifton was trapped in a life that shackles of women's freedom. And then, the second is leaf belt. On a sentence in the dialogue, it means that a woman is a companion for men. And the third is pillar. It means a foundation. So, Mrs. Clifton with her thoughts was a pillar of the state. And the last is puppet. Puppet is like a doll that is controlled by someone. This is the parable or proverbs of a woman in that era whose life was controlled by men. Okay, the next is the themes of the story is the woman emancipation. Why? Because a whole story tells about women are controlled by men and they didn't have a freedom to express themselves. Okay? And then the next is figurative language. I find four types. Personification, simile, hyperbole, and metaphor. First, Personification, okay, wait. Personification is when inanimate objects as if they could do what humans do. You can see for the example, like the first sentence is her voice crap around. Crap around in Bahasa Indonesia means Marayap. So, it doesn't make sense that her voice can crap run. And then you can say the following sentence too. And then the next is simile. Simile compares the likeness of two things. And it marks a like or as as a sign of the simile, like her voice crap round when like a worm carries. That is a mark like or sign like, okay? The colonel Maxim always spoke of her as a fair pillar of the state. So as 
is a side of the simio. So the next is hyperbole. It is that creates the meaning of the sentence. You know, for the example, she gave me a grateful look more eloquent than words. It means that the author uh, writes the exact word. So the last is metaphor, means comparing two things, like a good woman's arm around a man's neck is a life belt thrown out of him from heaven. So, a woman's arm is similar with a life belt thrown out to him from heaven. So, the next is, okay, with a second. So, the next is formulating opinion and the connection of the story. Okay, I choose for formulating opinion, I choose the connotation of charming woman. In this story, Mrs. Clifton as a charming woman described as a woman that not only has a beautiful appearance, but also clever and has modern thoughts. So I agree with the author that charming women are not merely about appearance. But how does she behave? How does she think about the world? And what are their contribution to the world? And the last analysis is the connection of the story. Um, the connection is related to social condition in Britain in that era. That is the history of British women in 18th century. In the story, a woman is depicted as someone who has no right to herself. Yes. In the 18th century, well, this is related to the emergence of policy about the emancipation of women caused by these problems. With these policies, British women can do what they want until now. So, I think it's enough from me. And I hope that you understand about my analysis. And bless I say, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.